Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Gems of Knowledge. So today I have come up with a new video on the learning outcome 2 that is I will locate the real numbers on the number line. Okay, so till now we have studied up to the learning sheet 6. Today we are going to learn about the learning sheet 7 that is rational and irrational numbers. Okay, so here you can see they have given the definition of both that is what is rational number and what is irrational number. So, if a number can be expressed in the form of P by Q, if the number can be written in this form, that is in the fractional form where P and Q belongs to integers. Integers means either it may be positive number or it may be a negative number where the condition is Q must not be equal to 0, then that particular number is called as rational number. Okay, here example is given 2, okay. 2 because 2 can be written as 2 divided by 1 okay 2 divided by 1 is also a rational number 2 by 5 minus 3 by 12 4 by 4 2.1 root 9 root 25 so I will tell you why this is 2.1 can be written as 21 divided by 10 okay if you divide 21 by 10 what you are going to get is 2.1 Okay, so why only it is divided by 10 because after point only one number is there. So since one number is there, you are going to divide it with 10 means one zero number, smallest one zero number. Okay, then root 9. If you open root 9, you are going to get 3. That is root 9 means you are going to write 9 can be written as 3 into 3. Okay, so 3 into 3 means 3 square. If you remove the root out of it, then you are going to get 3. If 3 you got, 3 can be written as 3 divided by 1, which is also a rational number. It, it is in the form of P by Q. Okay, next root 25 is given. Root 25 means it is equal to 5. Okay, so it means it is also divided by 1. It is also a rational number. Root 144, this is also equal to 12 into 12. 144 means 12 into 12. It means root of 144 is 12. So again, this is a rational number. And here you can see root 12 by root 3 is given, which is also a rational number. Let me show you how. Root 12 can be written as 4, 3 is 12. Okay. And it is also divided by root 3. So it means here you can see you you got here that is root 4 this can be written as root 4 into root 3 okay if we separate this two and it is divided by again root 3 okay this root 3 so this root 3 as well as root 3 is cancelled we are left with root 4 root 4 means it is 2 into 2 that is so the value of root 4 will be Two. So, this can be written as 2 by 1 that is it is also a rational number. Similarly, here you can see root of 0 0.09 is given which can be written as 0 0.3 into 0 0.3. You are getting 0 0.09. Okay. So, it will be if this is like this you are getting 0 0.3 square. Okay. Two times. This is two times and root. Root and square will be cancelled. You are left with 0 0.3. Again, this 0 0.3 can be written as 3 divided by 10. Okay. So, this is also a rational number. Now, moving on to the irrational number. If a number cannot be expressed in the form of P by Q, where Q is not equals to 0 and P and Q are belongs to integers, then it is called an irrational number. Okay. So, example is given. Example you can see here. Point is given and the numbers which are given. You can see the difference of the numbers. This is 1, 0. Okay. Then again 1 and 2 zeros again. Again 1, again 3 zeros and the number will be continuing. When the dotted line is placed, you must know that it comes under the irrational number. Similarly, here also pi is also an irrational number and this value that is 1.23000 so on. So all these numbers, there are lots of numbers here. So all this comes under a irrational number. Similar way, the roots which you cannot open, like if you try to open the root of 2, what you are getting is 1.412 and so on. Such a big number you are going to get. It will not end. Okay, so that type of numbers are irrational numbers which you cannot be 
opened okay so all these numbers cannot be opened if you open it you are going to get a number similar to this or this so that type of numbers are called as irrational numbers okay so here the question is asked classify the following into rational and irrational numbers okay so here few numbers have been given and you have to classify them as rational or irrational okay so first we'll see 3 by 2 it is obviously a rational number because it is in the form of p by q okay next is root 2 by 5 root 2 we cannot open it so this is an irrational number it will be uh, it will be placed into the irrational number next is 3 root 2 by root 5 this is also an irrational number okay then root 12 by root 3 next you can see root 12 by root 3 is given so root 12 can be opened as as i have told you here you can see root 12 by root 3 i have opened and shown you the mean at last we are going to get the answer as 2 by 1 so it comes under the rational number okay similarly root 10 by root 5 root 10 by root 5 you cannot uh, you can write it as root 10 can be written as 2 into 5 okay 10 can be written as 2 5 is a 10 divided by root 5 okay so this root 5 and this root 5 will be cancelled you are left with root 2 which cannot be opened so this root 10 by root 5 will be an irrational number okay next is root 25 by root 16 which is root 25 means it is 5 5 by 4 you are getting so it will be coming under the rational number next one uh, 3 into root 5 divided by root 7 this root 5 and root 7 cannot be opened so it comes under the irrational number next is root 12 root 12 is also an irrational number because it cannot be opened okay so if you try to open it you are going to get 4 into 3 so root 4 is 2 and root 3 will be as it is since this root 3 will be as it is this is an irrational number similar way root 27 also it will be root of 9 into 3 where you are getting 3 root 3 you are getting okay okay next you can see root 7 root 7 is also an irrational number and the remaining numbers that is root of 81 81 is nothing but 9 9 is a 81 so 9 we are getting here also you are getting 0 0.2 0 0.2 into 0 0.2 we are getting 0 0.04 okay similar way root 9 means it is 3 into 3 root of 27 comes here root of 25 means it will be 5 so this is rational number okay so next question is classify the following into rational and irrational numbers again the few numbers have been given which is not in the form of p by q and instead it is in the form of decimals so how you are going to write this into a rational or irrational form the same way as i have told you here okay here i have told you 2.1 can be written as 21 divided by 10 similar way this 0 0.31 can be written as 31 divided by after point two numbers are there so you have to place 100 okay so when you divide 31 divided by 100 you are going to get 0 0.31 so this is a rational number similar way 12 divided by 100 is also a rational number similar here also here after point there are four numbers so four zeros you have to use okay so 3 1 5 divided by 1 2 3 4 zeros and 1 here okay it means when you divide it by 10,000 you are going to get 0 0.0315 similar way here here and here okay then this numbers where you can see the dotted lines are present here these two numbers are nothing but the irrational numbers then the remaining numbers are the rational numbers okay i hope this is clear we'll move on to the next question so the next question is the mixture of everything that is classify the following into rational and irrational number here you can see root numbers are also given decimal numbers are also given negative numbers are also given and fractions are also given so you have to classify among this now okay so 3 0 all this comes under the rational number root 7 cannot be opened so it is irrational root 4 means 2 into 2 so we can open it okay it is root 4 so it is rational number 3 plus root 2 okay this cannot be opened so it is irrational root 5 is also irrational 
थ्री रूट टू इज ऑल्सो इ रैशनल ओके एंड वन फोर माइनस फाइव वन पॉइंट फोर थ्री ऑल दीज कम्स अंडर द रैशनल नंबर्स ओके एंड दिस द डॉटेड लाइन टू डॉटेड लाइन दिस बोथ कम्स अंडर दिस इ रैशनल नंबर ओके देन टू बाय थाउजेंड दिस इज इन द फॉर्म ऑफ पी बाई क्यू टू बाई टेन दिस इज ऑल्सो इन द फॉर्म ऑफ पी बाई क्यू एंड पाई इज एंड इ रैशनल नंबर ओके देन नेक्स्ट वन द क्वेश्चन इज फाइंड द रैशनल नंबर्स बिटवीन टू नंबर्स ओके द एग्जाम्पल दे हैव गिवन लेट एस सॉल्व डायरेक्टली फाइंड फाइव रैशनल नंबर्स बिटवीन फोर एंड फाइव ओके सो द क्वेश्चन इज यू हैव टू फाइंड द फोर रैशनल नंबर्स बिटवीन फोर एंड फाइव हाउ कैन यू फाइंड आउट द रैशनल नंबर्स बिटवीन फोर एंड फाइव सो द क्वेश्चन इज आस्ट फाइव रैशनल नंबर्स सो वॉट यू हैव टू डू यू हैव टू कंसिडर फाइव रैशनल नंबर्स ओके सिंस फाइव इज द रिक्वायर्ड रैशनल नंबर वॉट यू हैव टू डू इज द फॉर यू हैव टू एड वन टू दिस फाइव ओके सो दैट इज फाइव प्लस वन विल बिकम सिक्स इफ दिस देन यू गॉट दिस सिक्स राइट सो दिस सिक्स मस्ट बी मल्टीप्लाइड ऑल्सो एंड इट मस्ट बी डिवाइडेड ऑल्सो बाई बोथ फोर एंड फाइव सो फोर इन टू सिक्स डिवाइडेड बाई सिक्स सो वॉट यू आर गेटिंग फोर सिक्स आर ट्वेंटी फोर डिवाइडेड बाई सिक्स यू आर गेटिंग एंड फाइव सिक्स आर थर्टी यू आर गेटिंग एंड डिवाइडेड बाई सिक्स सो नाउ यू गॉट टू डिफरेंट नंबर्स दैट इज ट्वेंटी फोर बाय सिक्स एंड थर्टी बाई सिक्स सो देर आर हाउ मेनी नंबर्स ट्वेंटी फाइव बाई सिक्स ट्वेंटी सिक्स बाई सिक्स ट्वेंटी सेवन बाय सिक्स ट्वेंटी एट बाई सिक्स एंड ट्वेंटी नाइन बाय सिक्स सो दीज आर द फाइव रैशनल नंबर्स बिटवीन फोर एंड फाइव ओके बिकॉज यू कैन सी ट्वेंटी फोर बाय सिक्स मीन सिक्स वन जो सिक्स सिक्स फोर जो ट्वेंटी फोर यू गॉट फोर so before this before 25 by 6 you got 24 by 6 you are getting okay so it means when you divide this you are getting 4 only similar way after 29 by 6 you are getting 30 by 6 okay if you divide 30 by 6 you are getting 5 itself so 4 and 5 in between these are the five rational numbers okay similar way here also here also you need five rational numbers so you are going to take 5 plus 1 which is equals to 6 again divide and multiply by this both the numbers 3 six are 18 divided by 6 you are getting and 4 six are 24 divided by 6 so you have to leave this 18 uh, 18 by 6 and 24 by 6 and you have to take the middle numbers that is 19 by 6 20 by 6 21 by 6 22 by 6 and 23 by 6 there are five numbers between this 3 and 4 okay so this was single numbers now here you are having the fractions okay so how you are going to write this now similar way you have to do it okay so when you multiply 5 uh, when you multiply and divide 6 by this two numbers you are going to get some other numbers you can see 1 6 are 6 you are getting and 5 6 are 30 you are getting just like when you divide this 6 1 are 6 and 6 5 are 30 you are going to get 1 by 5 itself here also 6 Six twos are twelve and six fives are thirty. Here also you are going to get two by five itself. Okay. Now six by thirty between the six by thirty and twelve by thirty there are lots of numbers. So that that are seven by thirty, eight by thirty, nine by thirty, ten by thirty, and eleven by thirty. So in between these two numbers you are getting this five numbers. Okay. So these are the five rational numbers between one by five and two by five. Similarly, between three by five and four by five, the same procedure. Okay, three six are eighteen you are getting, and five six are thirty. Similar way, four six are twenty four, and five six are thirty you are getting. Okay, so between eighteen by thirty and twenty four by thirty you are getting lots of numbers. That is nineteen by thirty, twenty by thirty, twenty one by thirty, twenty two by thirty, and twenty three by thirty. Okay, so I hope this learning sheet seven is clear to you. If you are having any doubts regarding, you can comment me down below. So don't forget to like, share, and subscribe as well. Okay, I'll be back soon with another video. So till then, stay tuned and stay connected. Thank you.